So in this session, we will discuss about the average value of AC over a half cycle. We know the instantaneous value of AC I is equal to I0 sine omega t. This I represents the value of alternating current at any instant of time and I0 the value of peak current and omega means the angular frequency angular frequency of the AC if you look at the graph of the AC the alternating current it will look like this uh, on our x-axis we represents the time and on the y-axis we have the value of current the plot will be like a like this a sine wave Clearly, this graph has a positive half cycle and a negative half cycle. Uh, the time period of this is this is the one complete cycle of AC. That is, there will be a positive half cycle and a negative half cycle. And to complete the total time taken by the wave to complete one cycle, we call that as time period T. So this point, this point will be the total time. Clearly, at this point, we have half the time period. Clearly, this one is the origin. Now, if you look at the equation of, sorry, if you look at the wave, this positive half cycle cancels this negative half cycle. Clearly, th this is above the x-axis and this one is the this one is below the x-axis. So, there is no point in taking uh, one complete cycle of AC because they are symmetric and they will cancel each other. So we are interested in taking the time period t equal to 0 to t equal to t by 2. So that we, we only take this, this region. So we, ha we have only the positive value. Now we have by definition of the current, equation of current, we have I is equal to dq by dt. That is current is always the rate of flow of charge, the rate time rate of flow of charge through any cross section. DQ means Q means the charge and T means the time period. I is equal to current will be DQ by DT. So DQ equal to we can take this DT to the other side. So we can write DQ equal to I DT. Also, dq is equal to, instead of i, you can put i0 sine omega t dt. Clear. So, in order to find the total charge, total charge, let's say q, you have to take the integral of dq. Since the variable here is time, and we are dealing with the time t equal to 0 to t equal to t by 2. This will be the limit of integral. Now, we have we have q is equal to q is equal to integral 0 to t by 2. Let's put I0 sin omega t dt instead of dq. So I0 sin omega t dt. Clearly, this this see this is the peak value of AC and which is always a constant. So you can take that out. I0 integral 0 to t by 2 sin omega t dt. You know the value of integral sine, there is a constant here. So you can write integral ax dx will be integral of sine ax dx where a is a constant is minus cos ax divided by a. Clear. You have to put a plus c but here it is a definite integral. You don't have to write this c. So simplifying this you will get. I0 so integral of sin is minus cos omega t divided by here a here it will be omega 
omega and now you have to put the lower limit and upper limit so 0 to t by 2 now instead of omega this angular frequency we have omega is equal to 2 pi divided by time period this is the expression for omega 2 pi by t where t is the time period so you can put the value in here i0 see this omega is constant you can take that out i0 also you can take this minus out of the integral now cos instead of omega you can put 2 pi by t into t now write the limit 0 to t by 2 I'll change the value of omega, this omega later. Now let's write it as omega itself. So minus i0 divided by omega. This will be, now it's time to put the upper and lower limit. So this will be cos, first you have to put assign the upper limit. 2 pi by t, the variable here is t. So instead of t, you have to put t by 2 minus lower limit cos 2 pi by t into 0 clear now simplifying you will get q is equal to the total charge q is equal to minus i0 divided by omega this t and this t will get cancelled also this 2 will get cancelled so the final value will be co sorry cos pi minus cos this whole term becomes zero therefore q is equal to minus i0 divided by omega cos of pi is minus 1 here cos 0 is 1 so this will be minus i0 divided by omega into minus 2. Now you can write this as 2 minus and minus will get cancelled 2 i0 divided by omega. You can resubst you can put 2 pi by t instead of uh, omega now. So 2 i0 divided by 2 pi divided by t. Clear. So th this can be this denominator can be written like this 2 i0 into you can reverse the denominator and numerator and multiply by 2 pi clear. So this 2 and 2 will get cancelled. So the final value will be total charge q is equal to i0 t divided by pi call that as equation number one now the average value of the current you know now the average value that is i average is equal to the total charge divided by time here the total charge is q and the time is t by 2 because we only took the positive half cycle that is uh, from here to here and we already found out q is equal to i0 t divided by pi divided by this t by 2 this can be written as i0 by t by pi into you can reverse this and multiply 2 by t. So this t and this t will get cancelled. So the final value will be 2 i0 divided by pi. So the average value, let me erase this. So the average value of AC over a half cycle, we can call that as i average is equal to 2 i0 divided by pi. Now we have the i average is equal to you can write this as 2 by pi i0 that is equal to you can put the value of pi pi is approximately 3.14 i0 
So this I average will be 2 by 3.14 is approximately 0 0.637. 0 0.637 I0. So this is the average value of AC over a half cycle. Now if you take the I0 to the left, you can write this as I average divided by if you take this I0 to the left, I0 equal to 0 0.637. Multiplying the both both sides with 100, you will get I average by I0 into 100 is equal to 0 0.637 into 100. So this is equal to 63.7, which means uh, the average value of AC is 63.7 percentage of the peak value. Clear.